notebook check at CBIT 2016 and uh, day zero. We haven't even started yet. And then this Lenovo 710 appears on the table at the uh, Intel booth. And uh, actually, at first, we didn't even know what it was. It's not the original 711.6 because of the different uh, port layout. And it's super thin and light Core M5 inside. So we found out that it's a Lenovo Yoga 710. Can I just zoom in on that? There it is. Confirmed. Yoga 7011 SK. And this one's got the uh, 4 gigs of RAM in, the Core M5 uh, inside, and 128 gigs of SSD. And I just want to, um, because this is notebook check, we like to have benchmarks. And I'm just going to kick off the uh, Dismark uh, benchmark here and uh, just show you the sort of highlight figure on, on the discs. Let's just take, while well, that's doing it, let's just take a look around the port. So that's one of the only issues here. Full uh, USB, micro HDMI, and that is it. There's your power button there. And then if I spin it around to the other side, we've got this charging because there's a, uh, it was pretty empty before I started. There's a headset port, and that is it. There's nothing on the bottom. There's the two speaker layouts, as it was on the uh, 700. And it uh, feels like a hard plastic, not metallic. And of course, it is a 360 rotating. Oh, and I just lost that to Crystal Dismark. 360 rotating device as well. Let's see if I can get that Crystal Dismark uh, back up again. There's the headline figure there. So showing you that it's a proper, possibly PCIe connected SSD here. And it's. Uh, Headline figure the 487.1. Let me just uh, double check on some of the uh, details for you. If we go to this PC oh, yeah. computer, and I want to do this because this looks like to be look to be quite an interesting, interesting device. Samsung 128 gig SSD. There, that's the, uh, the detail on that. Um, just having to check. I've got a full HD screen, which is nice, IPS, and I'm just having to look to see if there's anything else in terms of sensors, GPS, no, no GPS. So that, uh, that's looking really nice, as I say, 4 gigs of RAM, Core M56Y54 is the model number there, base of 100, and, well, 1.1 gigahertz, I'm not sure what the high end of that, 2.4, 2.6 maybe, pretty much the same as the Lenovo. Um, Mix 700, and I think we'll be hearing a little bit more about the Mix, another Mix 700 later today, a business uh, version I get, uh, I have, I've heard, but um, this is really nice. Let me just have a look at the keyboard for you. Sorry about the uh, the mess here. We're just really setting up at the Intel booth here. We're going to set up for Tech Lounge, and uh, they kick off in about 50 minutes. So let me just give you, uh, obviously this is a pre-release. This is out of uh, Japan by the looks of things. Japanese, I oh, know, maybe Korean. That would make sense, or Taiwanese keyboard, I don't know. Right, um, there's not a massive amount of throw, but these keys are really solid, and there's no real, ah, uh, there's a tiny little bit of give in the keyboard. Not backlit, from what I can see, but there's a really nice click point. Now, the touchpad is not as good as the keyboard. There's uh, integrated uh, mouse buttons there, but it's not too bad, I'm just, there's a little bit too much friction on the uh, touchpad for my liking. Some people like that though. And it does seem to be fairly, fairly good. Uh, difficult to tell. But uh, in general, it looks like the keyboard is, uh, is really nice there. Um, battery, 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 battery. I can give you details on the battery size. Let me have a look. Um, I have taken a measurement on the battery size somewhere here. Let's have a look. I'm going to give you the battery capacity here, which gives us a good idea. Now, this is interesting because it's a 40 watt hour battery. Now, do you remember the Huawei Mate Pad? I think that's got a 33 watt hour battery, and this has got a 40, which is up towards where the Surface Pro 4 is, Surface Pro 3, the Mix 700, around that 40 watt hour um, battery life figure. I also want to show you uh, performance on Sun Spider, which worked out pretty well. This is on the Edge browser, 96.8 uh, milliseconds. So nice, uh, nice bit of performance there. And you know what? I might even be able to give you a Crystal Dismark uh, score. Oh, not a Crystal Dismark score. Cinebench score. Did I download Cinebench? 
Ah, I didn't download Cinebench, unfortunately. So I can't give you the Cinebench score. But that is the Lenovo uh, Yoga 710, making a, an early appearance here at uh, CBIT. And uh, apparently this one's due to launch in July. I don't know why July looks pretty ready to me. I hope to see that a bit early. And the price could be interesting. I've seen two prices, 599 and 799. A 599 price would be pretty amazing, but that might be a, an M3 version. I've also seen um, rumors, or, well, reports that this could go up to 8 gig of RAM with a 256 gig SSD. Well, the interesting thing would be to see what you get for 799, because this, if it's a core M5 with 8 gigs for 799, this is actually a 1080 a full HD video editing device. That's certainly a fast enough disk in there, certain enough RAM, and the M5 is good enough for some yeah, one or two timeline, maybe five to ten minute uh, video editing and rendering out as well, because the quick sync on this, as long as you're not doing too many filters, is pretty damn fast. Right, so I will be taking another look at this, I may be doing some more performance tests, so uh, stay tuned for another video on the Notebook Check Tech Review channel. Thanks for watching, we'll see you on the next Notebook Check Tech Review from CBIT 2016.